the mine uh, was running well by the end of the year and we produced uh, I think 142,000 ounces of gold last year and had great positive cash flow uh, helped by the gold price and finished up the year with about 50 million in the treasuries. Well, hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined once again by John McConnell, who is the president and CEO of Victoria Gold. Uh, Victoria Gold have just finished their first year uh, in production at the Yukon's newest gold mine, the Eagle Mine, at their Dublin Gulch property. Uh, John, uh, great to see you. Joining us today from uh, Vancouver. Um, 2020, uh, your first year of production at uh, Eagle Mine. How, how did the year go? What were your final production numbers? Yeah, it was a bit of a challenging year. Um, as I kid people, uh, you know, remind me never to start up a mine during a pandemic again. Um, you know, we had some issues on the site and uh, they were further complicated by COVID. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't a, a great year for us. Uh, you know, the mine... Uh, was running well by the end of the year, and we produced, uh, I think, 142,000 ounces of gold last year and mm -hmm. had great positive cash flow, uh, helped by the gold price, and finished up the year with about 50 million in the treasury. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was not a banner year as we would have liked, but uh, We've got a lot of problems solved and uh, look forward to a great 2021. Mm, well, I guess if you can get through a, a year of, of pandemic, then then you can get through just about anything. Uh, but looking yeah. forward to 2021, you've just released your guidance for the year. Uh, how many ounces are you hoping to produce uh, this year? Yeah, we've guided that it'll be somewhere between 180 and 200,000 ounces at an all-in sustaining cost of somewhere between 1050 and 1175 which is higher than uh, we'd like but this is a high sustaining capital year for us uh, you know we had hoped to put in a truck shop last year but because of covid we didn't and uh, this year we're also putting in a water treatment plant so those two alone are 200 or 20 million us that you won't see in the future so, you know, I'm still pretty uh, happy with our all-in sustaining and, you know, know in future years we'll get it down uh, closer to uh, the life of mine target of 800 per ounce. Mm. So in terms of that, that, that truck stop um, and that other processing facility you put, you're putting in there, what, what, is, uh, what impact does that have on your, on your ASIC? Where would it be without those? Uh, it'd probably be less than 1,000 closer to 950. And what was your, what were your all in, in sustaining costs in 2020? Do you have that thing? We, we haven't put those numbers out yet. Uh, we'll publish our uh, 2020 and Q4 financials uh, later this month. Hmm. But still, you say you're, you're looking to produce, uh, you know, quite a bit more um, this year than you did last year. So, so things heading in the right direction. Correct. Uh, we had a few uh, issues. Uh, the main one being we found the ore was far more abrasive than we anticipated in the design. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, uh, you know, just to give an example, uh, liners in a chute would, which are normally you'd expect to get uh, six months wear out of them, wore out in six weeks. So pretty dramatic. And what you have to do is uh, put in a different type of liner, you know, uh, harder metal, some cases ceramic, some cases rubber, some cases we put in rock shelves. So you have rock wearing on rock. Um, you know, I think uh, when I talk to fund managers and retail, they un don't understand how you can miss that. But when I talk to other corporates, uh, they go, oh, yeah, I went through that, too, when we started up XYZ mine. And so, you know, not uncommon, but uh, frustrating, and particularly when you're also dealing with a pandemic. Mm, absolutely. Um, I noticed you, in your uh, guidance for production for the year, it's quite heavily weighted to the second half of the year. Do you want to explain to our viewers why that is? 
Yeah, we're somewhat of a seasonal producer. Um, it's always been our plan that we would not stack on the leach pad the three coldest months of the year. So January, February, March. Um, and, you know, we followed that rule last year and we learned a lot. Um, this year we've reduced that to two months, but still we haven't been stacking on the pad since early January. Um, and because it's a leaching operation, there's always a delay in the gold. So, you know, the ore we stack on the pad now, we don't actually start to see the gold coming off the pad for another four to six weeks. And then to get the full cycle, it's closer to 200 days. So, uh, you know, it'll always be weighted to the back end of the year until we get to year round stacking. Hmm. And what um, at what point would you expect to get to year round stacking? And what are, what are the sort of factors that go into? Yeah, deciding? you know that'll we're learning lots. We're now almost through two winters, and uh, as I said, we've reduced that non stacking period to two months this year. We'll probably go down to one month next year, and then twenty twenty three go to year round stacking. But it could happen sooner, or it could happen later, depending on our experience and. Because the last thing you want to do is freeze a section of the pad. Mm. Absolutely. Um, and looking forward into 2021, in terms of exploration, how much are you looking to spend there? Yeah, we've got two programs. Um, right now we're drilling um, below Eagle. We want to understand what the potential is of Eagle at depth. So we're spending about uh, 6 million there, drilling 10,000 meters in 14 holes, going down to roughly 850 meters. Um, and then as the weather warms up, uh, we'll get back to our regional exploration and we're targeting an area out to the east called Nugget. It's another large granodiorite intrusive with very similar characteristics to the intrusive that hosts Eagle. We made a new discovery out there in 2019, we call Raven. We had an abbreviated exploration program last year, but we did drill 30 holes and extended Raven to over 750 meters in strike length. The ore sits right at surface and is multi-gram. So uh, we're going back out there this year with a big program, roughly 14,000 meters of drilling a budget of uh, $10 million. We have uh, two drills there now and we'll be mobilizing a third. And our goal is to have a maiden resource on Raven by the end of the year. Fantastic. And, and all of this is being paid for by, by the Eagle Mine, yeah? Yeah, no, we're self-funded uh, now, which is uh, a nice thing to be able to say and not have to worry about uh, going out to the capital markets and uh, raise money. Hmm. Excellent. Well, exciting year ahead as you uh, sort of ramp up production and also get out to those uh, extra, extra exploration targets. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, John, for joining us today for that update on Victoria Gold. Thanks, Leo. Thank you.